I have the singular distinction of having been the first female student of Sid Richardson College. Never having had a female member before, um, the students thought that this might be their only opportunity to have a homecoming queen, and uh, I was it. I was also the co-master of the college at that time. So they put my name on the uh, ballot as a nominee, and my picture appeared in the thresher along with all the other uh, potential homecoming queens from all the other colleges. I felt very humbled by the whole experience. It's something that I'll never forget. And looking back, I feel as if it was a, a, a real honor because, a singular honor, because the homecoming queen before me had been a refrigerator <laughs> and the one after me had been a snake. And looking back, I think, what, what a nice thing it was that they chose to elect a human being that year and that human being just happened to be me. Well, I'm happy to say that I don't think Rice has changed very much. And I'm not sure that Rice will ever change very much. It's gotten bigger. A lot of the green space has disappeared. But I think um, it's, it ensures itself from change by maintaining the same set of core values about what student life should be like and what achievement and excellence can mean to a person and that person's life. The student body, of course, always looks the same. I graduated in 1982, and I look a lot different. But I walk out across the campus and see, in effect, the same people who were, <laughs> who were on the campus when I was here. I feel a never failing gratitude for the fact that I found my way here and actually graduated, and graduated under the conditions that I did. I feel singularly blessed. I feel that I have led a charmed life, much of it because of Rice University. You'll notice it says, THE Sid Coed, because I was the only one. <laughs>